and I'm sick and tired of this fucking debate. Men need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry, I am a woman, so fuck you if you don't Sir. think so. Hello guys, it's your boy Mo Vibes. Today we're gonna be reacting to some controversy today. <laughs> it's a video on YouTuber Steven Crowder. He's a YouTuber that you know he be having a lot of points and he goes to the streets, public area, and he'll have like a certain belief he has. He challenges people to a conversation about it. Basically a mixtape of obviously as you can see from the title it says Change My Mind Mixtape, Crowder Triggers, Leftist, and Tifa and Woke Feminist. <laughs> So this should be a good video right here. Let's let's check this out. of whatever you're, you believe you're a democrat republican if you're in the left or right side come on like trying to destroy someone's little trying to destroy someone's stance that clearly not doing anything wrong to you like that's that's fucked up capture the flag sweetheart <laughs> well glad that's over now we can get back to civil rational conversations devoid <laughs> of any future felony assaults right Right. A woman who is told, if you're assaulted, please go to the authorities. They will handle it. And then someone in a privilege of power, let's say a cop or an attorney or whatever, they ask the question, well, what were you wearing that night? That mm. permeates. Which is bullshit, by it the is, way. It is bullshit. I'm so yeah. sorry. And sorry. you think rape culture is a fucking Can you, can you just wait? Well, we'll have a conversation so afterwards. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. There's no conversation that needs to be had. Rape is fucking serious. Rape has happened to me four fucking times, and I'm sick and tired of this fucking debate. Men need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I am a woman, so fuck you if you don't think Sir. so. I don't really have time I'm, for this. I, and I don't have time. My no, mistake. You're going to let me speak because uh, here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's already a lot to unpack here. Hold, hold the fuck up. The question, like, from the table, it's not showing it right there, but the statement that Steven is saying is that rape culture is a myth. So, obviously, someone who, unfortunately, was raped, you know, four times, they got triggered about that. Yeah, let's just keep going into it. You should respect women. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I am a woman, so fuck you if you don't think Sir. so. I don't really have time I'm, for this. I, and I don't... And, you know, everybody got their own opinion, like I said, to what a woman is. I said, by nature, me personally, a, a woman, by definition, is a female adult. That's how I look at it and I don't stray away from the true biology of what's true. If you want to transition and do all of that, that's up to you. I'm not here to hold anyone against their will, but biology is biology at the end of the day. Time, my no, mistake. You're going to let me speak because uh, mm. here's my truth. This person I've been raped four privilege. times. I've known women. This person is triggered. That have been raped multiple times gruesomely. And how dare you sit up here and try to say that women aren't worth respect. I, Fuck you. I didn't say that. I am a woman. I just became a woman. It's just like, are you fucking kidding me? People don't even <laughs> respect me, period. And Bro, I just became a woman? Like, do you hear yourself? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but that shit is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Is this the new norm that we're accepting? Like, honestly, honestly, let's, let's talk about it. I, there's two views on it, and it's like, you know, the left side, a lot of times are like, if a man trans transitioned to a woman, right? And the right, you know, side, they don't want to call you by your pronouns. They're going to obviously get offended by that. But at the same time, they also have a right to freedom of speech. And at the same time, in the sense of, I have to obligate to your pronouns, something that they don't feel right of. I mean, I'm already black, so it's just like, uh, yeah, that already goes against me anyways. But still, f See, And I'm black. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not to say that black people didn't go through anything that wrong in the past and things like that, of course. But no offense, but low-key transgender person is victimizing themselves. You see that they're saying, oh, because I'm black, oh, because I'm transgender, the world's being like, it's like, no, you live in reality. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to transition from a man to a woman you got to realize like if that's what you're going for there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna judge you you just gotta you're gonna have to accept that cold reality if that's what you decide to do i'm not saying you're gonna have to be okay with it but you're gonna have to accept the reality of how people are a you piece can... of living garbage ass dumpster fire <laughs> 
trash gum on the bottom of my shoe. Oh my God, I wish I had a tissue for the blood. I would f***ing hurt. Oh. Might I suggest it's your behavior? If you're gonna talk to someone like that, you're just trying to have a civil conversation. That person's getting offended and insulting him with names and things like that. It's like, come on now. Who's the one that's looking emotional and who's the one that's looking logical? Not because you're black or a woman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, mm. can I stop here? Can I stop here, can I stop here, please? She has just made a statement about being assaulted, which is very vulnerable and it's very scary to do. She just called me up. I mean, that's true. At the end of the day, you know, it's unfortunate that people, you know, have gone through, you know, grape. I'm going to say grape just because YouTube. So she, I'm saying that's... She. Sorry, she, my mistake. There's fair. accountability between men. Oh, absolutely. A country where guilty until proven innocent, innocent, yes, we'd be rotting in a jail. But I, I know of... Ooh. I know of a story just recently, and I'm sorry I can't come up with... I can't say the name of this was that individual. That was the same person. See, and that's what I'm saying. Now that that wasn't an insult, that was an assault or an attempted assault. Look at that. Like he's just having a peaceful conversation, and you're the one antagonizing, hitting him, and then saying that he's being the antagonist. Like, make that make sense. Come on, that's inappropriate, sweetheart. You feel better? Oh, are you offended by what I said? No, I just don't think it's necessary. Aren't you just feeding into it? You do realize that's a violent crime, correct? Exactly. You see, and that's what I'm saying. He just basically almost got violated right there. And she's still defending the transgender's position. Like, make that make sense. They're fine. Ah, so because there's no damage done, it's fine. fine. Okay. Fine. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's all I got to say. That's shallow. That's shallow. She is obviously living her perspective as a woman. I don't, I'm not saying she's never been assaulted or because I don't know her life. But going through that, she saw it. She just said, oh, you're fine. But if that was reversed and that was a woman sitting down and a man who did that, she would clearly be like, oh, that was assault or whatever. Look at the hypocrisy. Understood. Just recently. That doesn't bother you. What if that were a man? Because right. that's a woman. Hey, man, I will not be annoyed by y'all females, man. Y'all really high class females think y'all some motherfucking shit. Y'all ain't shit. Hey, you a motherfucking gold digger. I'm gonna put a curse on your, your ass, man. What's going on? Man, I'm, gonna call, I'm, not, I'm not doing nigga. I'm not doing nigga. I watch you no, no. They're breaking the law. Man, they're breaking the law out here. Who's breaking the law? I'm breaking the law. Breaking the law, man. You don't want no money. Back up, back up, back up. Don't get physical. You want some money. Back up, back up, man. You a gold digger. All you want is some money. You don't want no relationship. Do you know him? No. Exactly. You don't know me. All right, let's just back up. If I was John Cena, I bet you you're if I was Dwayne the Rock and Justin, you are Nobody wants to f here, man. You might just want to get out of here. Man, leave me the f alone, man. Don't touch me, bro. Get out of here. Leave me alone, bro. Get out of here. Leave the women alone. That's enough. Leave me alone, That's bro. Enough. Leave That's me enough. alone. You touch me, I'm going to curse you, bro. You're going to curse me? Man, I know witchcraft, huh? Okay. That's fine. Don't touch me, bro. Well, I'm not going to touch you, but you don't. I know witchcraft, bro. I understand. I'm going to curse you and your firstborn son. You touch me, bro. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want that to happen to my firstborn son, but, you know, if you have, you have to do what you have to do. Just leave the women alone and go on your merry way. No, I can do what I want. No, you this can't. This is America. Actually, you can't. That's assault. I and didn't touch the lady. Okay, good. So let's keep it that way. But she's uncomfortable. No. You're being pretty no, violent. No, 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 no. I'm Jesus. out here doing the work of Jesus Christ, trying to defend these goddamn men out here for these sorry ass females out here. Jesus, females Jesus Christ called a lot of women gold digging suckers, did he? Right. I didn't yes, really read bro. about that, and I didn't read about that in Mark. Come on, you want to read the Bible? Right. I got the Bible right. with me. Go ahead and read your Bible and do your witchcraft. Thanks, man. Is everyone, uh, everyone? How you gonna talk about that you're a Christian, but then you do witchcraft, and then you're talking about you're getting aggressive, and then low key like hating women? It seems like, like, bro, get your facts straight, brother, because that's an emotional man right there. That's not a man right there at all. <laughs> That's an emotional boy, as I should say. The fuck was that? <laughs> Good? Yeah. You okay? By the way, just what we're talking about, you know, I saw the big Wonder Woman sign, don't forget the ladies, which seem to have been forgotten right now with the looting and Black Lives Matter and this stuff going on. This is a perfect example of what you just saw of an anti-rape culture. I saw every man around step in, make sure that the women were safe. He was, he was following them, he was chasing them. And I didn't see a bunch of guys going, oh yeah, secretly we're on board with the rape. I saw every guy get protective and want to keep the women safe. I appreciate you guys doing that. Um, thank you. And it's not virtue signaling, it's not white knighting, it's just making sure that women don't get hit, women don't get hurt, women don't get raped. I think we're all on board with that. That's what men uh, instinctively want to do, so. Right. No, I mean, honestly, you can't 
deny that argument. Like, of course, no one, at least a true man and a man that cares about women, like, none of us want to see that. Like, because men can get raped too. You know, clearly that was a good example of that. Like, not all men are for that toxic max masculinity that people like to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, clearly in that scenario right there, most of those guys there wanted to defend the woman. And that's just how it should be. Trade my four by four, four G6, you like to come over and talk? No? The reason that I'm not going to is because this narrative is dangerous and this narrative got Garrett Foster murdered. For y'all to say that these people out here saying Black Lives Matter are domestic terrorists, you're putting lives at risk. So I will not talk to you. You know what you're doing. Garrett you Foster was killed because he aimed an AK-47 point blank in a car. You were there. So the guy was right. No, but the police report. Find yourself. Let's change the sign. Let's change the sign. We're going to change the sign just for you. We're going to change the sign just for you about Garrett Foster, brother. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. You can't even cover your dick, cover your face next. Don't ask. I need to tell him. I to tell him. I'm going to tell him. And that's what I'm saying. Peaceful protest. Like, come on, bro. Insulting and saying cuss words. And come on, bro. What the fuck? Don't get your pick up anybody. Obviously, like a battle against the patriarchy versus Antifa, right there. If you want to wear your mask, you wear your mask. Like, respect other... That's what I'm saying. It's like, the left side, they're always attacking the right. The right, usually, they attack the left because of... Through logic. The left, they like to attack the right through emotion. Take those glasses off. Take those glasses off. Take those glasses off, man. Take those glasses off, man. Pathetic. How old are you, I hate y'all so much. Y'all are the reason people are... That's what I'm saying. Like, just how he said, I hate y'all so much. Like, why are you spreading so much hate? As me as a loving person, just looking at this, it's just, bro, what are you doing? You're, you're spreading hate speech, you're you're dividing people, and you think you're trying to unify? Like, yeah, right. You're the reason we're the most civilized nation that doesn't have universal health care. How many people have to die? Herman Cain already died. He died an avoidable death to own the lives. Good on him. I hope y'all do the same. Y'all are ridiculous. How do you want to argue with scientists and doctors? You gotta be miserable. You gotta be a miserable person to just spew so much hate into people. Called you a racist? Yes, he well, called me a racist. Yeah. But let's take it from the beginning. The COVID death count is inflated. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Should I be going up and seeing what's going on? Let's move at least one camera. Hey! Hi. 
Do you guys like to come down and no, sit down? No, I just don't understand why one of your little friends, that boy over there, I think of that, right? Just came over here. Which boy in the hat? And called me a racist for no like reason. This guy? In the white hat? No, the the red, in the tech like ship. The red and white oh. tech ship. Really? Back. Yes, he called me a racist. I think he's oh. just hiding now. Oh, he's hiding why? Now. <laughs> he's just going I, That's what I would like to know. He just walked up to you and called you a racist? Yeah. Yes, he wasn't part of this conversation. Yeah, was he part of this no, conversation? No, that's I don't bizarre. know them. So I mean, okay, like, witness it. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on. So, did, were you there? I was there. Did Garrett walk up and call him a racist? Garrett, Garrett did not call him a racist. Well, I mean, yes, he did. What? What? He what? called he me a racist. racist. What happened is this gentleman right here said that uh, we're wrong. He said you walked up and called him a racist. I said that you sounds... You want to hear what I said? I said that sounds a bit racist because you said, everybody over here is a lot of white. I've seen a lot of white people. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so I said racist. Oh, oh, that is... Yeah. That's not, that's not racist. Wait, is it? That, the majority? Well, what does it matter if everyone... If people are white? By the way, he's black. Did you know that? That's not racist. That gentleman is black. stating a fact. okay. The people who are organizing this event are white okay is that racist well it's just odd that you would state it no it's not because we were actually having a conversation so oh, okay. i said i would love to know you know how many people are actually on both sides it kind of is an odd thing to just state i mean but at the same time not really because you're just stating the obvious so like eh, it's like 50 50 on that the spectrum sure republicans and the Dem democrats over here well, let's that go down and talk about it no. oh so you don't want to know I see. Because I'm gonna go shopping. I just, we can sit down for three minutes and see both sides of the spectrum. And then he came over and White guy and uh, brown I'm, or yellow guy? I'm Mexican. Brown. Okay. I'm Mexican. <laughs> brown guy. Oh, that's, wow. how we, that's how we that's how we call people yellow. You call them yellow. Well, you just said what? I'm trying to because you said white, so I thought color was the right way to do it, right? No. When you go, take, what should I say? I'm sorry. When you go take a test, is there a yellow ball? He just, but you see how how he just like he reflipped what he said to them, and then he didn't like how how it was said. He didn't take it right. So now he, it's just like, oh, you give a certain energy, but you don't like to take that same energy back. It's like, keep that same energy. So right. white is okay, but not yellow or brown. That's, I mean, y'all are the ones that created these tests. I didn't create any tests. What are you talking about? I mean, when you go take a test, when you go take a test, I just want to make sure I understand. I see a lot of brown people here. Yes, is, that no, okay? is that okay for me to say? It's not okay to say, oh, you're just a yellow person. I didn't say you're just a yellow person. Okay. I said you one know. white guy you to a yellow or a brown yellow, person. Yellow, you know what I mean? I said, yeah, one white guy. Let's sit down and have a good conversation. One white guy to a yellow or brown. No. Did, was, it, was that is, racist? My point is, I was pointing out the fact that there are a lot of people over here that are organizing this event that are white. That is a fact. He's Okinawan. The man who spoke with you is black. I asked him. I asked him. He's Okinawan. He's, he's Colombian. I also he's black. Him. That man's black. I also, You're a racist. I also Thank asked you very much. What you <laughs> said white. I have to, when I purchase a gun, I have to check Caucasian as well as not Latino, which kind of seems racist to me. You know, reverse racism is a real thing. You know, it's not only just, oh, white people can be racist. No, like, I've seen it a lot too, black people being racist towards white people or Hispanics being racist towards either or it goes always no not really okay well just because i noticed that you were yelling and protesting i thought maybe it's some opinions that you'd no, like to voice no because that's what you want that's yeah well, you want. well, well we're, we actually have a, a lady there who disagrees with me on probably nearly everything but we're having a productive discussion why do you I'm think really, you can really a productive discussion where you make all the questions and she has to unpack all the questions no oh really would you like to ask me questions really yeah, would you like to ask me questions? You can sit down right after Maddie. Just uh, here's the question. Why are you a mouthpiece for the alt-light? What's the alt -light? Why are you a gateway like point for alt-right politics? Hmm? How so? Hmm? Oh, how so? How so? Dude, I listen to Stephen all the time, and I'm not a right? No, you're a Nazi, remember? He's one of, he's one of those notorious black Nazis. Um, I, don't, I don't understand the question. Uh, let me ask this. You said you watched the program. I don't know where you line up. And that's also really, really important because having these, you know, controversial, like serious debates and topics, making some light, you know, humor, to bringing everyone in together. Everyone here has their differences and their viewpoints on, on things, you know. So why not just enjoy it? Would you consider anything I've done racist? No. Don't worry about it. You ain't racist. You ain't racist. Don't worry so about what, what does that mean, alt light? I don't understand the accusation. It is. It means the people like you, Ben Shapiro. Uh, what's his ben face? Shapiro is uh, ben Shapiro is Jewish. Ben Shapiro is Jewish. Always Jewish. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Ben Shapiro yes. won't turn on a light switch after Friday at 6 p.m. because he's so Jewish. You think he's oh, an yeah. alt-right Nazi? <laughs> well, considering that he supports a genocidal apartheid state, yes, I would say he is an Nazi. Genocide? You mean like eugenics? Like we're talking about here, abortion? We went to a Planned no, no, Parenthood, no, Margaret's no, thing? No, 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 no. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. 
Oh, really? Oh, well, do you mean that the Jew supports no, Israel's really. right to exist, and that's what makes him an alt-right Nazi? Oh, right, yeah, they're right to exist. Okay, sure, sure. A bunch of white Europeans coming. Does the guy, no offense, he's kind of like an asshole. Like, he probably got no friends, no offense. Nobody wants to be around an asshole like that, an arrogant dickhead. <laughs> into a place I haven't been to in thousands of years. It's like, oh, they, they have the birthright. Are you talking about Jews? They have the birthright to discriminate against Palestinian Jews, Christians, Ethiopians, Armenians. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. The, 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 the but, but actually, the, the state actually, of Israel, the, the, the represent of the model of Judea. Right, of course. Yeah. Sure. Well, no, I was only addressing your point that he's an alt-light, alt-right Nazi. Yeah, but not, Palestinian Muslims have it better in Israel than Palestinian, Palestinian Muslims, Muslims in Palestine. Muslims have it better in Israel. But what, why are you protesting? I mean, I mean, why are you protesting me and not sitting? Do you want to come, come on, come on. Come, Israel, come on over and sit down. Condemning Israel of shooting? What's your name, sir? What's your name, sir? No, I'm not. I'm not giving my name. Okay, just... No, I'm not gonna. Okay, would you like to come and sit down? You have to give your name. Not really. Sure. Hey, 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 listen. Here's the one thing. I don't want to give out your name, so all you. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You don't have to. No, hold on. You don't have to give up your name. But I do. I do think that if you're going to shout out accusations and disrupt conversation that's occurring, that's productive dialogue. I don't. I'm not. I, I, I do think. I'm here to shut down your bull. You're here to shut me down. So, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hold on a second. Hey, Maddie, we'll be right back. It's going to be a little longer than I anticipated, but I promise we'll be right back. You're here, you're here to shut down conversation. You believe that the right thing to do is shut down people who disagree with you. People who support violence. What? Can you finish a are you uh, can you finish a phrase? Did you just have a stroke? Listen, I don't mean to be insulting here, but just make a point. Oh, speaking in, 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 on this scale. Okay. okay. Yes, I'm a bit nervous here. How about you come? Yes, how about you come? Step down like here. We can talk. Ideas. I'm literally. You're on a pedestal compared to me. Oh yes. Oh, you you're on a pedestal with you all the f cameras and all. The what? You support? Okay. I support violent what? What gives you the right to shut down a conversation okay, how about here? For, how, about, how about for one, this whole bull pro-life when you're, re it's really about denying health care to lower class women. That is what it's about. That is what it's about. It's about defunding Planned Parenthood. It's about the- you see, Everyone's literally, yeah, bro's delusional. No bullshit. Bro, what? What are you talking about? Defunding health care for the people who most need it. And I have no access to pro life violence. How is pro life violence? What are you talking about? Oh, no, 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 I don't follow you. You said violence. You said I, I support violent what? What do I support? What do I support? I support violence what? You are justifying I mean, your shutting down of conversations. We've had conversations oh, yeah. with plenty of people oh. who disagree with me. They oh, don't all act so. like you, though. They act like they, they act more grown up. Oh, yeah. bro. Right. And then, then, yeah, they act grown up so they can be on your. Yeah, grown up. Bro, you're literally like a kid, bro. <laughs> like, you're proving his point even more, bro. It's crazy. Bro. Show and make you thousands of views and sell your little t shirts. No Maybe you're little... selling t-shirts. Would you like one? Is that what you're saying? Oh, so you don't you don't have any merchandise? You don't you don't have any merchandise? Right, you're not selling any t-shirts. We're literally having no, 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 no. I'm not saying right here. I'm not saying right here. Okay. Oh, no, so you don't sell any merchandise, right? No, it is like no, unlike any your other. You know, this, is all a, this is all a, a ploy by big merchandise. Let me ask you. I think it's very telling. You said I am here to shut. I am not here to talk. I am not here to express my opinions. You said, this is what you said. I am here to shut down your conversation. Oh yes, the the intolerant left coming down. Yes, yes, yes that's exactly what's happening here, Butch. Is it not? Oh yes. Oh yes. Do you not see it as intolerant oh, yes. to oh. shut down one's conversation? Oh. oh yes, so intolerant to shut down the conversation that represents the status quo of the liberal and conservative establishment. The whole reason you're upset oh, really? that you have a whole bunch of people is because on college campus, expressing a right-wing point of view is not status quo, brother. Oh. No offense, but being an asshole like this as a person, bro, is not only gonna get you nowhere in life, bro, it's gonna get your ass beat a lot. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, bro, because you don't know how to handle situations and you're just being an arrogant asshole. Some people don't like arrogant assholes and they'll snuff you. For real. Me, I have good control of my anger, so like, I wouldn't have to physically touch him or anything. I would just have a conversation with him. It's just like, he's the type of person that he, he would definitely cause a lot of people to assault him. It's just the honest truth how some people are. You know, some people are not good with their emotions. They lash out. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All the, the South, I mean, the Republican Club, TVSA, well, all fun by the university. Can, I, can oh. I, 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 you can do whatever you want. I just, I would never try and shut down your speech. Here's what I would ask you though. 
if you could please let me finish my dialogue with Maddie. Oh, Just sure. don't shut down her oh, speech. Oh, sure. And if you want to come sit down, you can come sit down, okay? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay? Is that okay? Okay, all right. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I gotta go back to... Is Matt... Hopefully Maddie's still there. Or, or Jesus Christ, depending on, on your uh, ability to recognize yourself in the mirror. Okay, Jesus I'll go with Bruce. Christ. So What? What type of shirt is he wearing? What type of beliefs does this man think? <laughs> Bruce, or Jesus Christ, depending on, on your uh, uh, ability to recognize yourself in the mirror. Okay, I'll go with Bruce. So, Bruce. So it's actually Jesus Christ. You'll go with Jesus Christ. I'll go with Bruce. Okay. So, Bruce, I don't believe that President Donald Trump oh, is God. Uh, a racist. The reason the reason can you I, should go with Jesus finish? Christ is because I'm right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. And I, you can actually learn something from helping to save our country and saving the world. Okay. We have to get all minds on, uh, you know, all hands on deck, all minds on point. Protect the truth. Jesus Christ. Exactly. That's that's how that's the correct way to pronounce my name. Jesus Christ is the correct way to pronounce my name. You stumbled upon it. There you go. I'm, I'm serious about sure. that. Okay, I don't believe that uh, President I'm Donald you, Trump. you're me. There's only one me in all reality. Yeah. It's a, uh, this man this man really thinks the world revolves around him. Like, I am Jesus Christ, and you're going to refer to me as that, bro. You're not God. Come on, guy. Okay, we'll go Seriously, back. Seriously, the, there we'll, is. We'll go back to the Jesus Christ thing. Uh, but I, this is the reason we're here. We have the sign. I, you know, listen, yeah. I don't buy it that Donald Trump's a racist. Why? So you were yelling earlier, why, pretty upset. Why? Because he, he might not get he might not get elected if people well, believe he's a racist. That's why you don't no, like it. No, that's not why. I don't believe that he's a racist. It, so again, it, it feels you uncomfortable, down, you know, to feel like you're a racist because you support Donald Trump. If you if you sit down, is that why? If you sit down. The onus is on you to change my mind. That's the whole idea. Uh, so yeah, you rationalize I, your mind. Part of it, yeah. part of changing your mind is 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 revealing your motives. As well, to no, why, you don't know my motives. why you don't want to see Trump as a racist. You, you have motives. And yeah, you do. You definitely have motives. You want to get Trump elected, right? You're a Trump supporter. You want to see him get elected. You don't want people to think he's a racist. And because if they think Trump's a racist and you're a, you're a Trump supporter, they're going to see you as a racist. You, you don't like how that feels. So you're motivated to convince people Trump's not a racist. Whether he's a racist or not, you couldn't give a crap. But you want to convince everyone he's not a racist. Yeah. You, so he gets elected. So everything you've just said is incorrect. Yeah, uh, no, it's yeah. exactly correct. Exactly well, accurate. Everything you've just said is incorrect. No, and it's exactly and correct. The, it's exactly accurate. And it's in the realm of something that couldn't, let's assume you were what correct. What you're saying you is could incorrect. Not you said you were going to sit down. And you're I going did. To be civil. You're I, I, down. So I am. You have to I, am. I am. Speaking. But you can't call something I say incorrect sure when I it's can. actually correct. Sure, I can call it incorrect. Well, and, 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 you why it's and I can say your your statement of saying it was incorrect was incorrect. Okay. But anyway, go ahead. You're a racist. You're a racist. You're trying to racist. How am I a racist? I think you're a racist. Uh, okay. The how? fact that you made this your raison d'etre. How? I think you're a racist. I think you're anti-Jewish by insulting uh, uh, people of the Jewish ethnicity, claiming that you are Jesus Christ. No. I that think you're a racist. Insult anybody. Tell, prove to me you're not a racist. Okay. I will. Prove to me you're not a racist. I will. <laughs> There is no proof. You, you you can't prove you're not a you're, racist. You're a racist. You can prove yourself a racist, though. Oh, okay. You can't. If, but if, I'm saying your if, motive is if, that you're a racist. If you, you're sitting if you down brown, because you are racist. If you put brown people in cages to be ever seen by pedophiles, uh, you're a racist. Yeah. If, if, you, if you stand up and say, I'm Jesus Christ, I am you, you are me, there's only one me in all reality, uh, let's have the back of life itself and not go extinct, uh, that doesn't make you a racist. No, it you're doesn't a make you a, a hater of Jews. It makes you a person saying, hey, I am you, you are me, there's no. only one me in all reality. No, you're racist. Let's have the back of life itself. You're let's racist. save life from going extinct. Honesty and truth before the lies of pride. Yeah. That matters. You should be more honest about your racism. I am honest about who I am. You should be more honest I, about your racism. I understand the racist that you are. Well, I understand you know, the racist that you I are. I think you're a racist. You are a complete racist. You're a racist. Inside your head, I can you're see you. You're a racist. You are a racist. I am rubber. You are you blue, are sir. Back you are a racist. 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 Hopefully you remember Listen, no dummy, it's a here, thought exercise. No one here to protect our country. It's a thought There's exercise. No if you attribute motive, productive country. Except the me within look, us look, all. Listen, listen, no stop power for a that... uh, Okay, all right, that's enough. No power right, above get up, you. Get up and leave. No power get up and leave. Be... There's no get power above you we nor below you. Get up. And your responsibility to yeah, save yeah, life yeah, from extinction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to stand right here. Hey, keep your hands off me, little boy. Leave. Hey, get your damn hands off me! What is this? What is this? Hey, boy, I'm going after my stuff you two. Let him take his stuff. I haven't raised my hand to you once. Once. What is this crap? This crap. Each you ass. Go. 
Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen. This, of course, comes from the Proverbs. Hey, where can we see pictures of you without your shirt? Oh, Instagram? Yeah. Like I said, obviously, you know, this country is definitely divided. It doesn't matter if you're whatever side party you identify as. At the end of the day, we're all in this together. When you really think about it, a lot of what racism seems to be portrayed at, a lot of it is being shown on social media. And it's not to say that there's not racist people out there, because there is, but when you go out and you're out in real life i'm pretty sure a majority of you guys if you guys have experienced something racist like i have the majority of the time you're not experiencing like racism or oppression you know you're just living your life and you can tell if someone might give you some type of energy and that happens but like talking about true oppression you know and even just stuff like this like high key everybody in this video was proving steven's point a right side or you know always just bash the left but i just believe in the truth there's no my truths, like how that transgender was saying. Come on, guys. there's the truth, not my truths. It's only one truth, that's it. This video is honestly pretty good. I might be doing you know, a couple more videos like this, like some controversial type videos. I'll have my voice react to it too. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate everybody that's been engaging and subscribing. And yeah, catch you guys on the next video. Be easy.